Alright, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Bloodstone who move well. Alright. And I saw this word in truth and sincerity, man. Make sure you hold the camera too. Uh, peace and mercy to the whole full elect that also push this word across the four points of the earth with truth and sincerity. And you little mind and sisters that believe, peace and mercy as well to you. Alright? So if you keep up with what's going on, you got a lot of closures or banks. All right, you got a lot of people, uh, you got a lot of bank runs that are being, uh, that are happening in different parts of the, uh, of, of the U.S., even in uh, Europe, people going to banks, collecting out cash, and really, cash is not going to save you in these times, man, because you have to understand where this devil, you know, the, what the Most High is putting this devil's mind to do is take you to, towards the MLTV. Right, a, tech, a technological Babylon is what we're in right now. Right, a society where you'll be hackable. Right, via via the MOTB. Okay, and these Edomites tell you that's what their plan is. Right, so the stage is being set, and a lot of you people are getting ready to enter in another worldwide uh, psyops, psychological operation. All right, so we're gonna start off with, um, let's start off with 1 Thessalonians chapter five, verse one. And um, I just wanna say real quick, because of what the brother is going into, you see the whole war in Ru between Russia and Ukraine, that's actually starting to pave the way for this whole digital system because they came out with uh, the DIA app, or the DIA app, right? And the DIA app is a digital wallet. You should check it out. And they're saying that digital wallet can combat the corruption that's in Ukraine because Ukraine is the one of the most corrupt countries in the world so they're bringing that whole system in and if you understand a lot of the politicians that are behind it they're actually set up by the WEF the World Economic Forum just check out the guy what's his name is Mikolov Fedorov he's a politician in Ukraine and he's backed by Klaus Schwab and his cronies right so that whole system is being pushed there and they're saying that America has influenced that, right? They have influenced that system. That's why you got um, you got uh, companies, uh, what, what, is, what is it called, uh, technocrat companies that have actually set it up or who are behind the actual DIA app. They set it up. I think it's called Spam or PSAM. They actually set up the actual DIA app. They, 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 put, they set up an infrastructure to put it in there. So a lot of things are going on with this cashless system, this B system. So keep your eye on Ukraine, man. Keep your eye on Ukraine. I think Ukraine is one of the most uh, chipped up uh, uh, countries, I guess. Sweden. Uh, Sweden. 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 Ukraine, too. Yeah. Ukraine, too. There are a lot of, they're, they're, Ukraine, not everybody is doing everything uh, via technology, like online in Ukraine. You know, that war has, has, has propelled them into that stage already. And that's coming over to the Americas, all parts of the world. There's going to be a false, a lot of false flags that are, are going to be used. Hegelian dialects are going to be used to push herd you cattle, all right? Herd all of us into what? The MOTB. But only the election are going to be saved from these up and coming calamities. Because it's going to come, the, it's going to come by the way of calamities. Right, these devils understand your psyche. They know your 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 um it's easier easier for you to accept their agenda when you're in fear. That's what it's all about. Alright, so it's high time to focus and, 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 and tighten up. You know? Go ahead, bro. First Thessalonians five um, and quick before you read that because you just stuck a nerve in me. Um right? Just to because was, the stage was set, the stage is set, and um, I, I, Matthew 24 just come in my mind, real quick, one quick precept in regards to what you mentioned about these false flags, right? All of them are at work, okay? And the scriptures uh, clearly declare that, uh, where it talks about perplexities, that's what that's right. going into. Right. Uh, the word is used, perplexities, and I just want to say this real quick. So you have, um, I'm just, just going to quickly name them again for the record, right? These uh, 12, 12 triggers. triggers. Which, which is in the scriptures, okay, right? So you have um, 
we saw we, uh, we talked about we've been talking about it, alien contact yeah. <laughs> right that's also a false flag you hear about the mothership business yeah. right uh, fi fin financial uh, collapse we've been hearing about that economics uh, a collapse all of those things that's been famine. going on famine rumors of wars yeah. generalized wars yeah. um, politicians being uh, 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 certain politicians being taken out yeah. right that's always with us okay so um, just next? yeah I, just just for the record because what the scripture is that? Um, it's Matthew 24 the word perplexity is used um, I think it's called the time of sorrows real quick just 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 for the record oh, because, you want Matthew 24 yeah okay. it's Matthew 24 it's just just read that one because it, it it's not getting stale it's getting magnified that's why we're talking about it and we're gonna go into it uh, one aspect of it or several aspects of this currently uh, Fair enough. Right, but just just get that preset uh, real quick. So this is Matthew chapter twenty-four, and I'll start at uh, eight. So it says, um, "All these are the beginning of sorrows. Then they shall be delivered you up to be afflicted, and shall kill you, and you shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake." Yeah. The one? Well, th that's part of it. That's that's going to be the end result. Going on, starting with the apostles and elders on down. You're gonna get, we're gonna get the blame for this, right? For what's going on, because we're the one, only ones that's telling the truth, right? And they can they can they can say stuff like this is our truth, okay? but we're coming from the scriptures. I think you wanted Luke 21 and 25. Okay, so okay, that's the one. Yeah, that's the one that has to do. With it. All right, so this is it. So this is Luke 21 and uh, 25. It says here, And there shall be signs in the moon, signs in the sun and in the moon, mm -hmm. and in the stars, and upon the earth distress of nations, okay. with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring, men hearts failing mm -hmm. them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth, for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. You know how many suicides happened last week? They don't even want to report them. Unless you're a keen person that's uh, set up to go into it, right? But it's, it's always been with us. But I just wanted to touch on that point, okay? We're going to go into it. Go ahead, brother. With yeah, because when shit hits the fan, then a lot of you people are going to start scrambling and trying to collect information and get, the, get, get your shit together. That's when it's too late. You got men out here prophesying, bringing out this truth. This is where you get your shit together. This is when you when you when you when you tighten up your relationship with the Lord, because that's what that's the only thing. The Lord's mercy is only is going to be the thing that gets you through these perplexities, man. Not anything of your own works, not anything you got saved up in the bank account, not you transferring your money to cryptocurrency, not you having a so-called homemade bunker in your backyard. None of that shit, man. Because what you're what, what people are going to understand is. The Lord is the one who's bringing these things. That's how bad it's going to get that every single person on the planet is going to give uh, uh, glory to the Heavenly Father or acknowledgement to the Heavenly Father. So I got the word perplexed here and it says of persons doubtful of, or full of anxieties, <laughs> bewildered, puzzled due to a matter under consideration. Right. Yeah, so that's uh, the perplexity, right? A lot mm -hmm. of anxiety is going to come up. A lot of people, um, they won't Sorry. understand how to take Instruction that's coming. So that's that's just more um, edification on the word. A lot of doubt. Yeah, yeah that's uh, um, that's that's powerful. That word anxiety. I might pull up the a, a whole list of uh, things that they put under the word anxiety. Yeah. If you, in other words, a lot of people are going through it, right? But we, it's going back to that uh, plague of the mind. Okay, we call it bug out, bugging out. Anyway, brother, go ahead, go ahead, man. First Thessalonians 5 and 1. One of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. Mm -hmm. Right. So we know that what? That the Lord, these perplexities are going to come upon people when they least expect it. That's what it means is that the day of the Lord is like a thief in the night. All right? And, and, and usually at night, what are people doing? They're asleep. They're asleep. It's deep slumber. Sleep is, is synonymous with what? Comfort. 
So you might not actually be asleep, but you might be getting married on your bachelor or bachelor party. <laughs> you know, you you know, you might be out on a yacht. You're living your best life when the Lord is coming. And that's how the Lord works, man. He likes to catch people at when they're at their at their peak. Why? So you can get humbled. Piece of bread. Yep. So a lot of you people are gonna get caught off guard because you rejected, you Israelites, because you rejected the Heavenly Father. You rejected His Word. First Thessalonians 5 and 3, For when they shall say, Peace and safety, and sudden destruction cometh upon them, as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. Right. So, that's going to be, that basically you're going to have these world leaders come, alright, in the guise of, this is to save the earth. All these 15 minute cities, carbon trackers, ESG trackers, all right, the MOTB, all this stuff, is gonna come in the guise of saving the earth. But we know what the scriptures say about this devil, that in Revelation that it says that he spoke as a lamb having two horns, roughly paraphrasing. You know, so he speaks outside, out the side of his mouth. But because you people are not, especially you Israelites, primarily you Israelites are not solidified in your faith or in your relationship with the Lord, you're going to get caught up with the wiles of the devil. The things he's saying. So peace and safety. What well, they did that with the with the with the juice. It was for your safety. It's for your safety. You want to go back to the clubs, you want to go back to your restaurants, you want to go back to work, go back to that convenience life. This is what you need to do. And now, a couple months, years later, you got people drop. People are still dropping dead, by the way, out of nowhere. People are still dropping dead. Fifteen-year-olds, sixteen-year-olds, young people, professional athletes, and 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 it comes out that they all had that juice in them. He does say, "Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help." There you go. Right. There you go. The peace and safety also goes into um, that whole new world order being fulfilled and then it coming to an end by thermonuclear destruction because it says in Job 20 that when he's about to fill his belly because he's going to actually fulfill um, his plans, his desires on what he wants to be uh, shown on this earth when it comes to the MOTB, the chip, you know, a more centralized government, everybody being branded and being under control, right? So there is going to be a time he's going to it's going to be fulfilled, but it's going to come to an end real quick. Right. The Lord is going to intervene. That's right. Cut short. First Thessalonians five and four. But ye brethren are not in darkness, that the day should overtake you as a thief. Right. So the Lord has provisions set up for the elect, eh? Provisions. All right. Somebody pull up that word provisions. See, because. Yeah, because this devil is, is, is setting up a, uh, a situations situations where you're going to need to come to him for food, water, right, shelter, warmth, all these things, right. But the elect, the Lord already has already laid out provisions for them, where they're not going to have to rely on on, on 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 Esau. And that's the beauty of of, of this grace period, man. Is that and your faith, Slocky, brother? That your faith gets built up with those things. And real quick, too, because um, a lot of our people, you know, people on the sign, they can't fathom that. They're always so used to relying on the system. Even Israelites that are in the truth, you know, you, you go to your job, you rely on your job. You go to all, you do all these things at work, you get certain benefits, right, from living here, right? You're, you're a citizen. Uh, you have privileges. You know, all those things are going to be taken away, but they don't, they can't, they can't see it in their mind where this is all going to come to an end. So even people in the faith, they're going to be tried to the very end in terms of losing it all. 
And who are you going to really rely on? Isaiah 33 and 6, right? Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of our times and the strength of our salvation. So that's really the strength of your salvation is really that faith that you have, right? Not so much of the things that you have over here in the world. And a lot of our people, nay, guerrilla Hebrew, you're going to lose it all and then you're going to fall apart, most likely, the way that you're functioning, right? I'm just saying, and people that are under it. You got it? Yeah. Yeah. This is Revelation chapter 18, verse 3. It says, For all nations have drunk of the wine. No, I think you've not. I think you want 17. Okay. Revelation chapter 17, verse 2. With whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication, uh -huh. and inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk with the wine of her fornication. Right. And like the brothers were saying, that you said that they, they rely on this society. All right, a part of these nations have all band together to create a society that has you people drunk off of. You're drunk off the society, man. You're drunk off of everything that has to do with the society, the philosophies of the society, the food in the society, the entertainment in the society. You're drunk off of it. So when all these things are taken from you, you're gonna be perplexed, you know? And that's, and that's, and that's why a lot of people are gonna, are, are gonna ravish each other because they're perplexed, they have anxiety. I was, I was telling brothers on the way here, my Uber driver was telling me that, now he, he refused the juice, but he said, even though he refused the juice, he'd be driving sometimes and he gets an over, he said he, said he gets an unreasonable sense of anxiety from his gut, coming right up while he's driving people in the back seat. You know, that's life threatening. So. You know, Esau has set up these 5G networks, which which send frequencies to f mess with our frequency, so that you feel this anxiety. That's someone who doesn't have the juice. Imagine all these people who have the juice. So you're already, in a sense, infiltrated, man. And I was thinking about that, like, yo, the Lord has has the angels, like the scriptures say, they can pass round about the elect. They're, those frequencies are not going to fuck with the, not going to mess with the elect. But even if you got, even if you didn't get the juice, you're still, you're still hit. Yeah, 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 get it. Yeah. Okay, this is uh, what, what, what the Uber driver, what the Uber driver is on. Um, his face is that, that, that now for a woman in travail because it's like she's feeling pain and then going at ease, like contractions. So that's what he's feeling. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Because yeah. it's going to happen. Coming in, that's a woman in travail. You get what I'm yeah, saying? World yeah. War Three is going to be a woman in travail. Yeah. And when you're bugging out in your mind, that's also going to be. A woman but but you brothers feel to realize you keep talking about the juice. The juice was just set up to accelerate this whole MOTB system. Correct. That's not even the big. That's not even the big picture. The big picture is you being under control and you being branded. Right. That's that's all it really is. You having the juice. That's just to kill you people off, because if they're going under the five. The, 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 Georgia Guidestones, which is uh, maintain humanity uh, at 500 million people, right? So that juice thing, it's just to kill people off and to bring in a system. That's all it is. Once that plays out, they're gonna move on to something else. Yeah, look, so, up, look up Michael Richard Anthony, I can't see it. All right, so I got Psalms 91 on, verse one. No, no, hold on, he told me to get this, he told me to get this. Psalms 91 verse get one. Your, get your definition he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of Yahweh, he is my refuge and my fortress. My power in him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noise and pestilence. Yeah, that's to the elect, all right? Because it came up. That's a protection of uh, protection of the Lord's people. Just want to get that out there, okay? That's what, that's that's our refuge. And the, uh, excuse me, uh, Isaiah 33 and 6 came out, right? Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of our times. So yeah. This is going into the ceiling work, and it's just about wrapped up. But you people out there, you're going to suffer, right? And uh, to, to the point of you mentioned about the juice and so forth, Michael Richard Anthony, I can't say it, right? Michael Richard Anthony, know the acronym, okay? That's, that's to kill out you people. That's right. Kill you all out, dumb you down. And hey, look, hey, look it up. Don't, don't, don't just uh, believe what I'm saying. And you'll see what it does to your, to your body. 
right? Because the brother brought out the point that it's going to kill out a lot of you people, you, you simps. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shall thou trust his truth, shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day. No, simply put, that's protection. That's, that's, that's a psalm. That's a psalm. Right? That's a beautiful song, and that's a song that we sing. Right? The, hope, the hopeful elect, the elect of Yehovah Hashim Yoshad. Right? Starting with the apostles and illas on down of the Great Millstone, and, and uh, those that are also in the four corners, and those that are not in the Great Millstone that the Lord has set aside. Okay? That's the point on that. Okay. Uh, this is provision and the etymology. Uh, foresight, prudence, care, in providing beforehand, action of arranging in advance. Uh, let's see. Action or arranging in arranging in advance. So the Lord is arranging the provisions for the elect, but the elect are also arranging themselves with the Lord. Right? Because why? Because of the foresight. The ability to see what's coming in your inner vision. That's a gift. That you can see what's coming. That's a gift. What and now what determines whether you get saved or not, ultimately if you have the elect, we have to have that faith. Right? That faith which you can't put a price on that. You either got it or you don't. You either believe or you don't. Yes, it comes with great, uh, that faith comes with that, that word evolution. Just to simplify it for you people at home. You, you can't just come up and get it, right? Unless it's of Yahweh Bar Shai. And you would have you would have had the diligence. You would have been 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 led the whole time. That's that's what he's actually saying, right? Mm -hmm. You have to yeah. be led the whole time. Yeah. Right? <laughs> you, you can't con you can't conjure it up. Right? Because it's given. That's right. That's right. And a lot of you, that's a good point. Because a lot of you have just been conjuring up, you know, faking the funk. You know, raw, raw this, raw, raw that. And then when shit really hits the fan, then we're going to know who's who. When you're stripped of all those things that uplifted your pride and your ego, then we're going to know who you really are. That's right. This thing's about being humble, man. And that's easier said than being done, being humble, you know, showing humility, right? A lot of, a lot of guys talk it, but it's very hard to do, you know, that's a process. You know, you have to, you have to, you have to be a base, man, to be humble and go through those things. So anyway, I got, I got a precept here real quick for edification for the camera. Luke chapter 12, verse 22. And he said unto his disciples, therefore I say unto you, take you no thought for your life, what you shall eat, neither for the body, what you shall put on. Uh, yeah, so so you know, don't worry about what you're gonna do. You know, you may not take all the things that you have in your house. You might just go off with the shirt on your back, and the Lord will have to take care of you. And these are the words of Yahushai, and that's how Yahushai lived. You know, while he was on here, he was like a nomad. You know, he was moving from place to place, traveling all the time, and people took care of him, right? And he was ripped. He was well off. He was a car he came from a carpenter family, a trade family. You know, people didn't need to take care of him. He came a little bit lower than the angels, but he did that to show you an example of how to be in these last days. So it says, verse 23, the life is more than meat, and the body is more than raiment. That's right. Consider the ravens, for they neither sow nor reap, which neither have storehouse nor barn, and the most I feeded them, how much more are ye better than the fowls? So the Lord's going to take care of you because the animals in this world, they get their daily bread all the time. You know, the food is just provided for them. And they don't serve the Lord, so what more about what more than you? You serve the Lord, right? All you need is all you need is a grain of faith to get all that. They do serve the Lord, but serve the Lord. But you just Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean, right? They go off instincts. We're given the law, statutes, and commandments. You obviously know that, right? You know what I mean. Right, but some people that are watching might not. Right, right. So it needs to be said. Right. So you as a human being, you're more complex. That's the whole point. When it comes to thinking one that were given the law, statutes, and commandments on Mount Sinai. These animals weren't given that. So you're going to be taken care of. Yeah. All right? That was it? First Thessalonians 5, First Thessalonians 5 and 4. But ye brethren are not in darkness, that the day should overtake you as a thief. Ye are 
we are all the children of light and the children of the day. We are not of the night nor of darkness. Correct. And that light comes from from the it comes from the Kadash, right? The Holy Spirit, right? Because that gives you the understanding of these prophecies of what's coming, right? The the the, the parable of the five foolish virgins, the five wise. When 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 the master came back, that's when they were asking for oil. That's which the oil goes back to what the understanding. These perplexities are going to be getting, are going to get people to ask, "What do I do? What's going on?" But it's going to be too late. Good. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. All right. That's a, that's the mentality. All right. Watch and be sober is a mentality. Meaning, meaning what? Meaning that you're focusing and watching on these prophecies. You're aligning yourself with the Lord day in and day out being circumspect of yourself because really you know the scriptures say that what we all have to work out our own salvation you really can't watch anybody else you gotta watch yourself and how you're moving with the lord the ingredient there is with fear and trembling with fear and trembling right yeah. you people uh, out there you you don't fear the lord right he has taken away that spirit from you that's why you're dead yeah. that's why the scripture mentioned about sober yeah right as opposed to being a, uh, slumbering, right? Go into that word slumber, all right? At home, go into it, it'll shock you. Do a deep search on the word slumber, because it means death, basically. You're either asleep, dead, unconscious, or you're sleeping in the Lord, in his spirit. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, so sober, go into etymology, it's nekho. Uh, and it goes, it says to be sober, to be calm, a collected spirit, to be temperate. And it says dispassionate. Right, so dispassionate just means you're not overwhelmed. You're not, because the scriptures say what? It says that be not hasty in a time of trouble. And people who are hasty in a time of trouble really have no control of their emotions. Mm -hmm. Right, so it says be calm and collected in the spirit. You also know? says circumspect. It also says circumspect, so that's to watch all around you, man. You can't just, you got to look and see what's going on in Europe. You got to see what's going on in the States. You got to see what's going on in Africa, all these other places. God, you can Verse 7, for they that sleep, sleep in the night, and they that be drunken are drunken in the night. Mm -hmm. But let us who are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love, and for an helmet, the hope of salvation. Right, and love goes into obedience. All right, you're putting the breastplate of faith and love. All right, once you have that faith, you got to show forth your faith. You can't just say you believe and you're sitting there on your ass, you're not doing nothing, or you're being a wicked brother. That's just something you could be doing things, but you could be doing wicked things and say that you have faith. That's unfaithful in a sense, you know what I mean, like not being a brother and all these other things. So that love goes to be it, that's how you show that you love the Lord. This, what we're doing right now, the lessons, right? How you conduct yourself. That's what we're putting on right now. While everybody else is switching up their bank accounts, saving accounts, TFSAs, RSFPs, all these things, we're putting on the breastplate of faith and love. You guys, you guys hear what happened in France so far with uh, the Emmanuel Macron? Yeah, they're burning down their place. Yeah, you see a lot of people, they're out there now, they're, they're protesting on what they can get from this uh, society, their pension. Now they're calling him a communist, they're calling him a dictator, which, you know, that's what the whole system about. The system is about, the whole new world order system. It was never about democracy, it was never really about capitalism, it was about complete control. And a lot of these people, they're fighting to get their so-called rights back. But that's not what it's about. It's about coming out here and serving the Lord, man. All right? That's that's what it's about. Putting on that breastplate. Yep. Uh, verse nine. Oh, by the way, they want to burn him. They they were burning him alive on the street. You know, they put puppets about yeah, puppets yeah, on him. Side of the cliff, yeah. And they they actually yeah. visited his house. Yeah. And they put the they put the face of each politician on the mannequins. Yeah. And they lit them up. What scripture is that? Um, they shall not regard their kings. Yeah. That's uh, what's 2nd Ezra 9 yeah. or 2nd Ezra 15. 15 yeah. right. 
right? Didn't that's I mention crazy. about the triggers? Yeah. About the yeah. politicians? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah. So, yeah. hey, yeah. hey, the Lord. <laughs> anyway, we have scripture for that. We won't get into it, but uh, it's, it's nothing new, right? It's not it's not over, uh, overwhelming to us yeah. looking at it, right? Things like that happen. And we'll take a glass of wine and uh, drink it if the Lord permits us to do that. Right? Praise your whole boss, Shimon Shai, man, because it's in prophecy that uh, you leaders are going to get jacked up. Go with what you got, brother. Yeah. Uh, 1 Thessalonians 5 and 9. For Yahweh hath not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. Beautiful, man. Who died for us, that whether we wake or sleep, we should live together with him. Right. And that's what the other said earlier about you got some men that are already asleep in Yahweh Shimon Shai. All right, and you got some of us, some of the elect, they're actually gonna, are not gonna taste death from the day we were born, all the way up until the elect get beamed up, until they get beamed up. You know, and that's that's heavy to think about because well, that means well, you gotta think about all the things that that those members are gonna be led through. I want to get right? that precept for you, second answers. What's your fifteen and nine? Uh, okay, Second Ezra 15 verse 16. It says, For well, there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. So sedition is anarchy, yeah. civil unrest, going against the established authority. Mm -hmm. right. yeah. And invading one another. Yeah. They shall not regard their kings oh, yeah, or princes. Sure. Oh, yeah. And the curse of their actions shall stand in their power. A man, this is going to the 15 minute cities. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able to. Right. Also, smart cities. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love what it says. It says the curse, the curse of their actions. No, the course. The course of their actions. The course. Okay. The, course. The, the, the way? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's Which is what they want you to do anyways. Mm -hmm. That's what that's what they want. Mm -hmm. They want you to run around fighting each other and causing havoc so they can come in, swoop in with so, so, a so-called yeah, martial law. Right? It's all an agenda. Yeah. Based on how France is operating right now, I think over there is where Marshall is going to keep it first. Yeah, they are, they are. Don't fuck around. Yeah, the Edomite cities, they, they, they jump on board quick with that. They want to hold on to their power. Job 9.24. <laughs> I'm just put a quick precept because um, it was read that the Lord didn't appoint us unto wrath, right? Uh, going into uh, Thessalonians. This is Baruch uh, chapter 4, verse uh, 4, and the point will be made in uh, verse 7. So it says here, O Israel, happy are we for things that are pleasing to the Most High are made unto us. Be of good cheer, my people, the memorial of Yahshua Allah. Ye were sold to the nations not for your destruction, but because ye moved the Most High to wrath, ye were delivered unto the enemies. Just going into, we're not here to be destroyed. That's what the scripture is going into. You know, we still have a long way to go. You know, we, we were set up over here to go through hardcore slavery because of our, our rebelliousness. And um, hmm? that's going to also show prove the point that there is no forever bird in hell. Oh, of course. Of course. That's true. True. Yeah. Yeah. It's true. There's only yeah. Your hell is what you what you go through here. Oh, yeah. Bad you know? times. Bad times. But because you moved the Most High to wrath, ye were delivered unto the enemies. For you provoked him that you that made you by sacrificing unto devils and not to the Most High. Ye have forgotten the everlasting power that brought you up, and ye have grieved Jerusalem that nursed you. And now we're coming out of that. We're set up to be destroyed, we're set up to be saved. Sure. Yeah, go ahead, bro. This is the book of Luke, chapter 21. Verse 34, mm -hmm. read better. And take heed to yourselves, lest at any time your hearts be overcharged with suffering and drunkenness and cares of this life, and so that day come upon you unawares. Amen, that's beautiful. Some, some of us, like some brothers, you have to realize, or, you know, we go through our situations so, so that we can check ourselves and realize to live like, as what's that word, a minimalist. Right, surfeiting. Look up the word surfeiting. It says what? Check your heart. 
so that you're not override with surfing. Overcharge with surfing. Overcharge with surfing. Look at the word surfing. All right, you might find yourself low on money for a couple weeks, but that's the Lord, you know, prepare, uh, uh, preparing a, a, your mind, right? Having you establish a certain kind of mentality, not to be attached to these things. Because that happens to all of us. You get used to a rut. You know, you get used to getting paid and making a certain amount of money and going to work and do all this stuff. And then when it happens, you know, you're like, you're upset and all this stuff, but you have to remember, Everything that we're going through is to set us up for victory so we can be saved. Not so we can be attached to what we're used to every single day. Let's see the keep let, let's see the keep uh, see the keep blown up blown some car running over. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Slows down. Yeah. Car running over. Yeah, people like yachts, expensive yeah. clothes, right, shit like that. Right, right. I want to get out as soon as that, the Lord just keeps no season away. Yeah. You have to put them under the wood, the wooden uh, thing there. And then you put a bottle on it. It's just going to blow again. Yeah. Okay. Well, what, what, what's that scripture? He'll be waste, wasted away as he and he'll be uh, uh, gone and forgotten. I think it's in Job. You got surfing? Yeah, I got it. I got it. Uh, surfing in the etymology, um, excess quantities, overindulgence. Excess, uh, arrogance, uh, over arrogance. That's a good one. Do a lot of you people are arrogant. Yeah. You're lovers of yourselves. Yeah. Why can't you drunk on this wine, man? Yeah. Majority of people are so drunk they don't even know it. And guess what? That the scary thing is you got brothers in the truth who are drunk and don't even know it. That's scary. And that goes for all of us. That's a scary thing to think about. That's why this thing's about being humble. This society is based upon consume, 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 consume. Mindless consumption. Mindless consumption, man. Which means you are a liking, you're all, majority of people are liking to be dead, man. You're like, you're just zombies eating, waking up, going to work, doing these things. And that's why they, 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 they call us cattle, hurting you along. Boy, that's why nobody likes you Americans as well. Because uh, you guys consume 70 to 80 percent of the world's resources, right? How is that possible? You know, you don't make anything, but you're consuming everything, and that's why people want this place to be destroyed, right? So, surviving is really—it really pertains to you Americans, you know, <coughs> Americans, the Western world, right? You, you, you don't know what it's like to go hungry. Exactly. You don't know what it's like to not have convenience stores around. Right? You don't know what it's like to live in a third world country. Uh, have heat. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, the last part of what he read also goes into that, that general term of the side hustle. Going crazy with the surfer thing mm. and going crazy for the side hustle, which is the cares of this life. Right. Okay. Which is funny. Side hustle. Which is funny because the other um, Daniel Alla at uh, Dallas, he made a lesson. And he said, yeah, yeah, he said, he said, this life is a side hustle that we live. It's a side hustle. You know, something that we're just keep doing to keep ourselves uh, occupied until you have a shot comes, man. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's go back to, that was it on that? Oh, one more verse. Okay, fine. Uh, verse, verse 35, Luke 21, verse 35. For as a snare shall it come on all them that dwell on the face of the whole earth. That's right. First Thessalonians 5 and 11. Wherefore, comfort yourselves together and edify one another, even as also ye do. And we beseech you, brethren, to know them which labor among you and are over you in the Lord and admonish you, and to esteem them very highly in love for their work's sake and be at peace among yourselves. All right. 
right? And that just goes, goes into order, respect of the elders, brothers, even brothers that are, uh, you know, above you, I respect of them, because that, that's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a beatitude as well. You know, that's how, that's how Yahweh Shai taught the apostles. Before they became apostles, they were disciples. All right, so they were learning order and all that. But you got a lot of unruly Israelites in this thing. They don't, they don't want to subject themselves to order, the order that the Heavenly Father set up, because really they're emotional. They're emotional, man. An emotion can get you killed, will get you killed. Yeah, that's going into that faith and fear that we speak about. Right? That's going into that faith and fear. That's what it's going into, that order. Fearing, it's really fearing y'all about Shimei Oshai. Right? All down, we understand how it works. Precept for um, what's it called? Um, comfort, because the real comfort is really the comforter, which is the scriptures. That's right. So it says um, John 14 and 16, and it says here the role of the Spirit. And this is the words of Yahweh Shai, and it says, and I will pray the Father, and He shall give you another comforter, that He may abide with you forever, even the Spirit of Truth, whom the world cannot perceive. Because it seeth him, not neither knoweth him, but ye know him, for he dwelleth with you and shall be in you. So it's really how we shy that comes in the whole volume of the book. That's what really gives you the comfort, and that's what we're out here giving you. Comfort, peace of mind of what's to come, breaking down the prophecies, telling you how to live and, and how it should be according to the most highest wants, right? So that's really the comfort. So a lot of people out here, they're not comforted because they don't got the word. Right? This comfort. That's why they're out here rioting, complaining about an unjust, an unjust society, an unjust uh, ruler, complaining that Justin Trudeau is a communist, complaining about Manuel Marcon, right? That they're communists. They don't know what to look for because they're not comforted with the scriptures. And then you know what, guys? It's only going to get worse because you're not putting your trust in the Lord. Thessalonians 5 and 14. Now we exhort you, brethren, warn them that are unruly, comfort the feeble minded, support the weak, be patient toward all men. See that none render evil for evil unto any bad. Sorry, but, but who are the people, man? The people are really you tribes. You're the weakest. Because you're in the lowest point. You're in the lowest state right now. You're 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 under all nations. So that's who it's really for. It's really for the people who are meek in the spirit, who have a contrite heart, who can't really defend themselves. You tribes can't defend yourselves, man. You don't have an army. You're not like China. You're not like the United States. You're weak as hell. And frankly, everybody sees it except you. Right? That's who, that's who, the, that's who the Lord is for. Weak. Let's add to what the scripture is saying. We're almost at that, the end of that time of warning. Because yeah. we've been out here warning. You know, we've been fit the brothers. You know, I haven't been in this thing as long as some of brothers. Brothers been fishing for years. Warning you people, that time is coming to an end. Yeah, you know, the elders. The elders, so the blood, the blood is pretty much almost off the brothers' hands. Because that's what that's a, that's a, that's their job, is to warn you guys, you know? Yeah. Blow the trumpet. So that time is almost up. Is it uh Mike G said? Yeah, no no, no. hold that. Just yeah. Let me finish that up. I should hold that. First Thessalonians 5 and 15. Sure. See that none render evil for evil unto any man, but ever, but ever follow that which is good, both among yourselves and to all men. First Thessalonians 5 and 15. See that none render evil for evil unto any man, but ever follow that which is good, both among yourselves and to all men. Rejoice evermore, pray without ceasing, and everything give thanks, for this is the will of Yahweh and Hamashiach, and Yahweh Shai Hamashiach concerning you. Quench not the spirit, despise not prophesying. All right. And you know, that's, that's, that's the thing, man. 
there's a lot of sorcery in the society. You know, Satan has has his demons working overtime, right? Work by them. And you saw constantly bringing out these demons. And Elder I found did a lesson on how you know uh, uh, the saints are worn out. Sometimes you get that spirit on you, like uh, you know, that's a demon. It's a demon, man. It's a demon. That's why the scriptures say, cease, cease not from praying. Don't go a day or night not praying, confessing your sins to the Lord. You know, and then doing this work, prophesying. Same thing, because these demons are, are hard at work. They're hard at work. I just wanted to add because it says the spy is not prophesying. And I saw earlier this week, um, Elder Manati Zakpa from South Carolina, who made a video about scoffers and scorners coming up on his comment board, trying to get him to, to stop prophesying and really trying to shut his channel down. And you have a lot of people who are doing that. They're trying to quench the spirit right. and, and, uh, and, and uh, slandering brothers, slandering the word, and, and trying to cut your channels down. You got YouTube doing that. But you gotta fight through that because that's all about contending for the faith, right. right? And bringing out this good news. We still gotta come out here and fight. The Lord likes a fighter. That's why the scripture says the Lord is a man of war. Right. Exodus, what, 15 and three? So that means you're a man of war in the spirit, right? So you gotta come out here and fight the negativity when these people come up against you. People are gonna call you all types of things. Elder Manat talked about, and even our elders that were before him, they were called warlocks, they were called demons, they were called cops. They're called masons. All that is to psychologically to get you to fall out the truth, right? To lose the spirit, right? So you gotta fight those things. Those things are gonna come. Yeah, yeah. You know, we, we've had situations over here in Toronto where there's people who came with knives and guns to the camp. We had cops threatening us. Right, they trying to trying to get us off the corner, making up making up weird laws and rules that were not even written in law to try and get us arrested, to try and get us to lash out against the police. Man, that stuff's gonna happen. You know? So man. You gotta, and you gotta consider how beautiful it is that the Lord put a spirit on us to continue. You know, like I myself have witnessed, you know, brothers come out, you know, and all they gotta do is hold the camera and two weeks later they're gone. What are you doing standing holding the camera? It doesn't seem like it's much, but it's because we're in the spirit, right? This this thing is not for the faith of heart. It's for it's for the strong-minded in faith towards the Alpha. So that's that's you just said the word that was just uh, thinking that that's the faith of Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, and he put it on his men, right? And you can't just you can't conjure it up. You can't do this. You can't do this of this stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, he is fighting something. He's fighting his demons. Yeah, man. Oh, then this is not your year. Oh, no, yeah. First Thessalonians 5, 21. Prove all things, hold fast that which is good, abstain from all appearance of evil, and the very power of peace sanctify you wholly. And I pray you how your whole spirit and soul and body be preserved blameless mm -hmm. unto the coming of Yahweh, our Lord, Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. Yeah. Right? You have to remember, we're fighting to get our sins blot out. That's what we're fighting for, man. Because, <laughs> bro, we're fucking wicked. Yeah. We are wicked as all hell. And if you don't understand that, then, yo, you're not, you're not in the spirit. You're not in the spirit. Because you have to understand this flesh, and this is this life. Don't, don't, don't even, don't like, don't forget about our past lives. You know, we're fighting so that we can be one of those of that number that when we line up for the judgment, the Lord is like, you know what, you're good. You know, because your sins have been blotted out. Hey brother, can you get Revelation eight three? And also, you don't understand it. Fighting for your sin to get to your sin blotted out. Yeah, that, you're, not, you're ever not really taking it as seriously as you should be then. Right. You don't really understand why you're here. Exactly. You know? Exactly. You don't really understand why you're here if you don't understand that you're that. You're wicked. You did stuff you did in your past life, even before you came in the truth. Yeah. And in the truth, yeah. still, yeah. you know, you messed up, you still messed up while you're in the truth. So, yeah. like, 
You don't understand that, man. You, you really don't. You're not taking it that seriously. Yeah. You need a reality yeah. check. No, I had confidence. Hmm? I, I was just talking about because he said. Yeah, 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 okay, come on, go ahead. Pass lane. Ephesians 6 and 11. Okay. Uh, so put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Right. So, for we wrestle not in flesh and blood, but against the principalities, against the powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. That's right. Spiritual wickedness in high places, man. This place is full of sorcery, the them elites. Banking families are constantly conjuring up demons. It says that the scriptures, I think in Proverbs or in Psalms, it says that if they haven't caused mischief, they don't go to sleep. When you go into mischief, it basically means to to, to cause a, 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 um, um, like the cause travail, right? The cause of a, a, a bad time for someone, mischievous, misfits. Verse 13, wherefore take you unto the whole armor of Yahweh, mm -hmm. that ye may be able uh, to withstand the devil, the, the evil day, and having done all to stand. Yeah, man. Yeah. Hey, remember when uh, Yahweh Shai, the, the disciples, were trying to cast out a demon, and the demon's like, Paul I know, Yahweh Shai I know, but who are you? These demons. Yo, they got you got different levels of demons, man. That's why the scriptures say put on the whole armor. You can't half-ass this thing. You can't pick and pick, pick, pick what you like. Like it's a buffet. You gotta eat the whole roll. Then you got a lot of Israelites that are, you know, just jumping from camp to camp, watching this lesson, that lesson, that camp, that camp. You know, uh, 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 not realizing that. You're just confusing yourself, because we all don't speak the same thing. Um, yeah. You have something? Okay, yeah, go ahead. So, so you said earlier about praying, right? Yeah. Uh, praying is a part of, you know, putting on the whole armor. So it's just a pray without season, right? Right, right, right? right. So this is Luke chapter 21, verse 36, and it says, Watch ye therefore, and pray always, mm. that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass wow. right worthy hey don't forget that word worthy, worthy. Mm. beautiful precept brother read and, and the last part it says and to stand before the son of man wow <laughs> hey That's you brothers know, is. Like, bro. you brothers know what prayer means yeah beg. the beg you know so like we're begging the lord that's why it says cease and never never cease from praying okay you Yo, you have you have everything to beg for and nothing not to beg for. Does that sound familiar? Wasn't you how was I doing that? Exactly. As our example, Gethsemane and many Constant other instances. Begging. Beautiful brother. Go ahead. Yeah. You have it? Yeah, bring it out because they brought it out and the precept just came out again. Right? Just want to show what, what Yahushua is doing for us, right? In, in regards to this begging. Read brother. Right? Uh, Learn that Revelation 8, verse 1. And when he had opened the seventh seal. Alright, so <laughs> the stage is set, right? We believe by faith we're between that time. Right? The elders, the apostles and elders teach that. Okay? We're between that time. Read. You know what the seven seals are? Well, it's, it's where times of trouble, like uh, great plagues and destruction coming upon their sorrows. Last, last uh, seal, last stage. Uh, That's, you don't mind me asking that? Does that is that synonymous with the seven years in Egypt, like when Joseph got that dream? No, 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 no that's no, different. That's, that's different. different. That's talking about when they went through famine. Famine at that time. Okay. Okay. Seven years of famine and seven years of plenty. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. But hey, can you just raise up your voice for the brother? Oh, he can't hear you. Oh, okay, fine, fine. Um, Revelation eight verse one. And when he had opened the seventh seal, there was silence in heaven about the space of half an hour. And I saw seven angels which stood before the Most High Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, mm -hmm. and to them were given seven trumpets. Mm -hmm. Verse 3, And another angel came and stood at the altar, having a golden censer, 
and there was given unto him much incense. So All right, yeah. Have, good, good, I was no, just going to say real quick, just so you can understand, that people kind of get tripped up when they hear the half an hour, mm -hmm. the half an hour space. So Paul is just getting, or not Paul, John is just getting, he's getting revelations, visions, boom, boom, then it stop. And then another one comes. That's all that means. If you get tripped up with that, or try to get too deep and says it means this amount of months and all this, and no, no, he's just, he's just getting visions, and then they stop, and then he's getting other visions right after. Continue. And, and we'll get to the point of. Yeah. Uh, and there was given this. unto him much incense, and he should offer it with the prayers of all the saints upon the. Uh, okay, there it is. Beautiful. Slow down. Right? That's 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 what that that's how important this is. This is where we come in. Alright? Read it again for the record, please. Okay, Revelation eight, verse three, mm -hmm. from the top. And another eight. angel came and stood at the altar having a golden censer. Alright, so that messenger uh, he's got a censer. Okay. Read. And there was given unto him much incense. Oh, hey. So that's uh if he's if he's given incense. Right? That's going to tell you something. You have to understand the sanctuary service to understand that this messenger is doing a work for the saints. Read. Just just keep it simple. Revelation 13? Uh, 8 and 83. Oh, just keep it simple. We're just going into the mediatorial work. Read. For the saints. What was the question? What? Given incense. Right. Incense, just incense. Like he's basically like what the other was saying. That's a part of uh, the priest work. So you got. You got the, the, the sensor, you know what a sensor is? It's like a little bowl, and it's like, it has heat, and then you put the cover and the hole there, and you have incense on it. Yeah. Like the frankincense being burned, it represents yeah, the, the prayers. It rep yeah. It's symbolically, as the brothers are saying, but we're trying to keep it simple here. It represents the prayers of the saints. That's what it's going to explain. So whenever we pray, all the scriptures came out already, but we're just showing it to you in simple put. I just wanted to show it to you this way. So you can see in the book of Revelation in the time that we're in now, how solemn it is and why we are working with crying to the Lord and begging. Read, brother. Read. Take your time. And he should offer it with prayers of all the saints upon the golden altar, okay. which was before the throne. So when we pray, when we beg the Lord, that's what he's doing on our behalf, right? And the incense represents our prayers. It go up. That's why we're burning sin. Smoke goes up, right? Because, yeah, because uh, Slaka, that's what no, I'm saying. No, because no, no. remember Romans 12 and 1, it says we give our body as a living sacrifice, right? And when you sacrifice, when you sacrifice the animal on the altar, what goes up? The scent. So, just to add to that understanding, we're a living sacrifice. We're constantly a living sacrifice, and the high priest Yahweh Shai is going before the Lord. And saying this is a sacrifice. So but we're it, on the altar. Beautiful. So this process is going on in heaven. So when we pray, that's what's happening. You understand? Yeah. It's just that simple. But it's in symbolic language. But I just want to keep it simple. All right. You finished with it? I think you had um, verse three, right? Yeah. Yeah. That was the final verse. That. But that's the point on when we pray. That's the process that's happening. Right? But we have a high priest. That's what the uh, messenger does. That messenger. Comes out also in the book of Ezekiel. Uh, I apologize. The seven seals, what I mentioned in the beginning of that, I was going, I was referring to Revelation 15. That's what it's talking about, the judgment. It's talking about knowledge and stuff coming out. So, so lock you about that. For any confusion. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that's spirit Yeah. My that's bad. I, just, I moved the head. I jumped over to Revelation 15 instead. So lock it. Uh, Tobit 12, verse 15. I am Raphael, one of the seven holy angels, which present the prayers of the saints and which go in and out before the glory of the Holy One. That's right, Jacob's ladder. Jacob's ladder, angels ascending and descending, up and down, up and down, because they record your thoughts. Where you pray, the angels, their messengers, they record what you say what you think and they take it up to Heavenly Father. Right? And it goes before it really goes before your house shy. Then your house shy brings it to Heavenly Father. There's order. Beautiful, because they're sinless. Okay. Yep. Excuse me, the servants, those servants are sinless. 
Yep. Right? And that's what that's what the brother is saying. And you mentioned the scripture with worthy, right? Yeah. That our prayers be worthy because Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai, Shai, make those prayers worthy. Yeah. Right? And the angels have that work to do. It's called the influence as well. Yeah. That's why you read it. Yeah. Yahweh Shai, he gets the prayer. If you know, he gets the prayer. Oh, you want me to get something? And he goes to uh, the Most High. And he's like, oh, this is, uh, this is uh, Paul Zal's prayer. <laughs> oh, okay. This is so, so, so prayer. Oh. You know, that's how it works. Because that's what it's counted worthy. He's going to recognize the prayer of the elect because what? They're doing the work. They're yep. serving the Lord. And they're written in the book of life. Oh, okay, the battery's dead. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, Where are we at? <laughs> yeah, I was, I was going to get something for y'all. Oh, yeah, right? So this right is... Um, right? is um, it's, it's another reference just to show in the book of Ezekiel huh? the same process, right? Uh, we know we went over this week. Uh, Ezekiel, Jeremiah, and Isaiah goes with Daniel in terms of the finishing up of this work as well. They go into it deep. They get those deep visions. But read it again. Uh, read this one just to, just just for the record, just to show also the work of the angels. Okay, so working this, with Yahweh Shai here. This is Ezekiel chapter nine, verse one. Uh, it says, He cried also in mine ears with a loud voice, saying, Cause them that have charge over the city to draw near, every, even every man with his destroying weapon in his hand. And behold, six men came from the way of the higher gate, which lieth toward the north, and every man a slaughter weapon in his hand. And one man among them was clothed with linen, with a writer's inkhorn by his side, and they went in and stood beside the brass and altar. You go in. So this is just to show you the work of the angels working with Yahweh Yahweh Shem Yahweh to finish up this work. The same influence. Okay. So we have all uh, all heaven, right? That, and we're begging for that whole armor, and we're, we're praying that we're worthy, that the Lord make us worthy. Excuse me. Okay. That's that's the point on that. Just wanted to read that to show you, but. <laughs> When you continue to read, it goes into the sealing work. Okay, that's what that's what we're begging for. That's what the elected are. That would make me worthy. Go ahead. That's the point. That's the point. Micah three, verse Micah chapter three, verse one. And I said, here, I pray you, O heads of Jacob and you princes of the house of Israel, is it not? Why? Because you were given the law. Okay, you were given the law. We're a nation of judges. You were given the law, so it's for us to know judgment. Right from wrong, wrong from right. What? Who hate the good and love the evil, who pluck off their skin from off them, right. and their flesh from off their bones. You guys know what that means? Huh? Like a three, verse two, who hate the good and love the evil, who pluck off their skin from off them and their flesh from off their bones. You know what that means? You brothers know what that means? Yeah, yeah you probably do. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. Let me see if these guys know. Maybe you need to start. Read it again. Okay, read, read the precept before. This is the last time. Listen up. What? Yeah, yeah. Where are you at? You, that, that was just those, those two. Okay, so read one. Okay. Uh, Micah chapter 3, verse 1. And I said, Here I pray you, O heads of Jacob, and you princes of the house of Israel, is it not for you to know judgment? Yes. Who hate the good and love the evil, who pluck off their skin from off them and their flesh from off their bones. No? Shema, you want to answer that? Uh, you know, like uh, it goes into, it says, uh, pluck off their skin. Skin is identity. So these, uh, these, these false teachers, these, these pastors, these pastors, not telling Israel who they are, teaching them lies. Right. right. And what, what scripture can you link with that? Uh, Ezekiel 37. Right. Uh, where, where it's uh, skin, skin to bone, bone to skin, roughly right. paraphrasing. Flesh. Right. Flesh. Right. Dead, valley of dead bones. There you go. I, yep. ha I have it for edification, though. Yeah, it's so this is um, Ezekiel chapter 37 and 4. Again he said unto me, prophesy upon these bones, 
say unto them, O ye dry bones, hear the word of the Lord Yahweh. Thus saith the Lord power unto these bones, Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, and ye shall live, and I will lay sinews upon you, and I will bring up flesh upon you, and cover your skin, and cover you with skin, and put breath in you, and ye shall live. Right. And ye shall know that I am the Lord. Right. So when when you teach this word improperly, Yahweh uh, doctrine improperly, and you lie to the people, is likened to plucking off that skin right off their body that was put onto them, their identity, knowing who they are. GOCC allows Edomites. We're with Edomites coming to the kingdom and, 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 and saying that Edomites can be saved. That Edomites uh, can be saved. Guess what? That's plucking the skin off, uh, off, off of Israel. Edomites can't be saved. Those are our, our, our arch enemies here. Yeah? A lot, of these, a lot of these guys are paid yeah. to do that. A yeah. 501c3, yeah. right? they get benefits from the state, yeah. or they just get benefits from the people for teaching the wrong thing as well. Yeah, selling t-shirts, hats. Yeah. You shouldn't be you shouldn't be selling a startup kit for like seven dollars. Right? You know, our people are poor. You shouldn't be doing that. You know? <laughs> Deterring them from coming into the truth. Man. And who are you to determine where they start up? Who are you? You don't know who they are in the spirit. The Heavenly Father is the one that works with them as to where they start and how they grow into this truth. That's a couple. Yeah, so called. Go like a three and three, who also eat the flesh of my people and flay their skin from off them, and they break their bones and chop them in pieces as for the pot and as flesh with the cauldron. So you got Israelites even within this truth of ours. That, that are, are, are setting a lot of people up, basically dead, spiritually, to be spiritually dead. It's pretty much saying that the heads of, the heads of government of Israel is not teaching the people who they are now. It goes even deeper than that. Even deeper than that. They, they can teach you, because they can teach you that you're an Israelite. IUIC IU, says you're an Israelite, but IUIC says it's hell. You know, they say that there's a place where you'll go eternally and burn forever. It says they, 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 they pluck the flesh off their own, meaning um, taking away their identity. Not just their identity, because there's a lot of things that, that pertain to your flesh. Your skin pertains to your flesh. Your muscles pertain to your flesh. Your sinews pertain to your flesh. Your heart pertains to your flesh. So yeah, you start with the identity. You got some, you got some camps that will shun a man that has, has a sincere heart, but he might look like an Edomite or a Moabite. And he has a sincere heart about this truth. So they're like, you know what? This is not for you because you look like a Moabite. That's that's an example of that, right? But when you start teaching Israel that you're an Israelite, but then you're also going to burn forever, you, now you're going into the sinews. You're not connecting them with the flesh together. It's like disconnected, you're walking around with a dislocated shoulder. I got a precept for you just to, just to go along with that. So this is uh, Romans 8 and uh, 16 because um, it's about the spirit at the end of the day. It's a, it's a spiritual thing. That's what the whole skin, the flesh, and the bones are about. It's a spiritual thing. It's not so much just a physical thing. Yeah, yeah. Right? So Romans 8 and uh, 15. It says here, it says here, uh, actually verse uh, 14, sorry. Romans chapter 8 verse 14 For as many as are led by the Spirit of the Most High, they are the sons of the Most High. And it says, For ye have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but ye have received the spirit of adoption. Right. right? Yeah. Whereby you're in bondage when you're in the world. That's why Ezekiel said, Can these bones live? You know, can they live? Because they're they're walking around like they're, they're walking around in bondage, not just real child of slavery but like you said in their mind you're in bondage in your mind and when you go up further in the chapter it says the valley yeah. right the valley of dry bones that's america it's an open valley that's right. so what does that mean it's a melting pot everybody's going to intermingle with each other and they're going to lose their who they are the identity that we have here we're canadian i was born a canadian i didn't know i was this i was that i didn't know i was an israelite so that's how it is so that's the people you're dealing with, right? So you can't just shun them. And that's what a lot of Israelites are doing. That's what the brother's trying to tell you as well. Even uh, the Latin tribes, 
like years ago, they were even shunned from coming in the truth because they're like, oh, what? You Native Americans, you guys are heathens, yeah. right? But then more information came out that they were Israelites, right? So that's the whole identity in the skin. Spiritual. My heritage is like, like a speckled bird. Like to me a speckled bird. Yeah. Where I was, where, where I was confused is just how did the head, it's explained now, but where I was confused is how did the head of government of Israel took, take their identity away from them? What, what you said just now pretty much explained what happened. Yeah. Hey, let's actually, there's a certain, go to Ezekiel 37. But read that it's, there's a part where it said some had flesh, but some had uh, uh, skin, and some had uh, muscle, showing you that there's certain there's levels to this understanding. Some Israelites just know they're Israelites, but they still walk around smoking weed, committing adultery. They think it's just cool to be. In, oh, I'm an Israelite. I'm the son of God. Oh, okay, oh. okay. Okay, bring it out just until that comes up. Yeah. Uh, Matthew 23, verse 13, red letter. But woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye shut up the kingdom of heaven against men, for ye neither go in yourselves, neither suffer ye them that are entering to go in. Wow. Yeah. That's just knowledge. You're shutting up men. And that's deep, though, because they were set up to do that. The Lord put them, the Lord set them up as false prophets to be a stumbling block so that certain people wouldn't get, wouldn't get this thing. You know, wouldn't get the kingdom of heaven. Sorry, would you? Uh, I think it's 37. Some have sin, some have skin. Yeah, some have sin. Yeah. Ezekiel? Yeah, you have it? Yeah. Well, okay, go ahead. I started on um, 3. Okay. They said unto me, Son of man, can these bones live? And I answered, O Yahweh, thou power, thou knowest. And again he said unto me, Prophesy upon these bones, and say unto them, O ye dry bones, hear the word of Yahweh. Right. Thus said Yah thus said Yahweh unto these bones, Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, and ye shall live, and I will lay sinews upon you, and I will bring up flesh upon you, and cover you with skin, and breathe into you, and ye shall live, and ye shall know that I am the power. Keep going. Go to eight. So I prophesied. So I prophesied as I was commanded, and as I prophesied, there was a noise, and behold, a shaking, right. and the bones came together, right. bone so to his bone. Up, people are waking up to the fact that there is place. Uh, uh, a specific date is 1969. All right, go ahead. Uh, verse eight. And when I beheld, lo, the sinews and the flesh came up upon them, and the skin covered them above, right. but there was no breath in them. Right. So that's one faction of the Israelites. The, sin, the skins came on them, the sinews came on them, but there was no breath. So they knew they were an Israelite, but they couldn't break down the scriptures. They didn't have the Holy Spirit. Right, and it's, yeah, exactly. Go ahead. Verse nine, then said he unto me, prophesy unto the wind, prophesy son of man, and say to the wind, thus said Yahweh, come from the four winds, O, bre o breathe, and breathe upon these slain, that they may live. Right. Yeah, because the spirit, like the brother said, is spiritual. So they're spiritually dead. They're slain all the day long, really. And that's why the scriptures say that we're the, uh, the, break, the breaking of strongholds. Precept. Because I'm um, going in. Yeah. It's scripture here. related to Adam. Oh, with the... The, the um, kind of, yeah. kind of, yeah, yeah, it can, yeah. Yeah, oh yeah, 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 in that case, yeah. Say it again? Right, 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 right. Okay, fine. Okay, last verse 10. 
So I prophesied as he commanded me, and the breath came into them, and they lived, and stood upon their feet, an exceeding great army. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah, technically because Adam was without this knowledge. So he was likened to that. Right? He was without this knowledge, and he was given the breath, and all that came upon him. So yeah, 100%. This is uh, Proverbs 21 and 16. Just to go along with how, you know, you have people who have uh, the skin on them. They don't really have the breath, right? They know who they are, but they just don't have the spirit to do the things as in Israel. So, this is Proverbs 21 and 16. The man that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. So, you're not completely fully alive if you don't have everything on you. So, you gotta have the whole package. You gotta have your flesh, your skin, and you gotta be a bone that's woken up. That's what makes you alive in this truth, the complete package. So some people, they're lacking in certain areas. Yep. So if they're lacking in certain areas, they're pretty much of the congregation of the dead. They're just like... And uh, the spirit of adoption, uh, where, where, whereby, we, uh, whereby we are... Um, Cry, Abba, Father. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's the spirit. That's the, that's the difference. Yeah. Right? The Father has to call you to, to give you that inspiration. Versus, well, he called said when you're called pure to you just want to emphasize that yeah. the distinction right with the elect yeah just like the orphanage you got lots of kids in the orphanage but not every, every kid gets a parent uh, it's nice and warm out here it's nice and warm man just on the tip like a three and four then shall they cry unto the Lord in hour, but he will not hear them. He will even hide his face from them at that time, as they have behaved themselves ill in their doings. Thus saith the Lord in hour concerning the prophets that make my people err, that bite with their teeth and cry, Peace, and he, and he that putteth not into their mouths, they even prepare war against him. Therefore night shall be unto you, and ye shall not have a vision, and yeah, it shall be dark. Yeah, a lot of false you. prophets in Israel. Uh, if you go back to Amaziah the prophet, he came against, he came against Hosea. Right? Or no, Amos, sorry. He came, he, he came up against Amos. He tried to get him to uh, not prophesy. I think it was in Bethel. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? He tried to get him to go out. He, he made, uh, he, he, he sent messages to the king of that time to tell him that he was uh, going off and saying the wrong things, trying to get him kicked out. So you have a lot of false prophets around here that are trying to suppress the word from the true prophets. That's why you see a lot of slander campaigns on the internet. Yeah, yeah. And really, man, that's heavy what the scripture say, friends. They're setting you up for war against the most high. You know, that's terrifying because they're telling you that you know Esau is your friend, he's not your enemy. He's telling you that you know the MOTB is not what the apostles of great Muslim still say it is. You know the saying is sin, which is just confusion to play on words, which is what what that does is sets you up to be at war with the most high. John 10, uh, verse 11, points in 12. Uh, Yahushai said, I am the good shepherd, the good shepherd giveth the life for the sheep, but he that is a hireling, not the shepherd, who own the sheep are not, seeth the wolf coming, and leaveth the sheep, and fleeth, and the wolf catcheth them, scattereth the sheep. The yeah, we'll, see, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see where all these leaders are in the day of trouble. <laughs> you know, to tell you to do this, do that. They can't save you. That's what people have to understand. That Yahweh Shai is the savior, not these leaders. <laughs> We're not saviors. You, 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 can, you, can, you could have seen it during, during the, the C19 crisis. You got, uh, you got the, the 
that guy came to the athletic thing um, from one of those camps. And you said take the juice? Yeah, he told yeah, the people, yo, yeah. take the juice. Yeah, it's it's not, you know? It's so he sent me, and then you got, right now you got Nate telling people that the MOTV, like the, 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 uh, the CF, is not the, not the MOTV. So yeah. pretty much these people are going to go take it, thinking, okay, yeah, I'm good because my guy said I have to take it. Yeah. But then again, it also says that um, work out your own salvation. So yeah, you can listen to him, but if he's going off, don't follow him. What do you shy say? Yeah. Right? And then there's certain men that you shy gave his doctrine to personally. And, and you can check that out by, by checking out what they say. If they say the MOTV is something, the MARK is something that's inserted in you, just look up the word. Well, when they say, oh, you got to pay your tithes, and the, the microchip is out there, right? And you have to take it. And he's telling you, oh, you got to pay your tithes. you be like, huh? <laughs> like... <laughs> Yeah, that, that goes back to those you know Israelites. Yeah, I wish I his, um, his, uh, his fault, right? Yeah. They got skin and flesh, but they don't have the inspiration. We have a lot of those men within that's teaching. They have the skin and the flesh, but not the inspiration. Sure. It's giving you advice right now. Go ahead. This is Acts uh, chapter 13 and uh, 6. Going into what uh, Paul experienced um, when the certain sorcerer came up to um, persuade another person's faith, right, from hearing the word. So this is uh, Acts 13 and 6. And when they had gone through the isles onto Paphos, they found a certain sorcerer, a false prophet, a Jew whose name was Bajus Bargius, which was with the deputy of the country, Sergius Paulus, a prudent man who called for Barnabas and Saul and desired to hear the word of the Most High. But Elymas, the sorcerer, for so is his name by interpretation, but stood them seeking to turn away the deputy from the faith. Then Saul, who was also called Paul, filled with the Holy Ghost, set his eyes on him. So, <laughs> yeah, false prophets, you got sorcerers. So, Nate, you're a sorcerer. Right? Gehenna, you're a Baron, sorcerer. All you Baron guys are Samidi. sorcerers. Baron Samidi, remember, right? Yeah, Baron Samidi. He controlled, he's a zombie king. That's what they call him. He's yeah. a sorcerer. So, you got a lot of false prophets that are out here. That are claiming to be uh, Israelites and leaders, but they're really uh, witches and warlocks, man, trying to deter you, got brothers, from coming into the truth, right? So that's just a, an example, and that's what we have to go up against. Right? So one got uh, Not yet. No. No, no, no. And uh, if you notice in that precept, um, it said the Holy Spirit came upon Paul, and he and he, and he marked them marked in the spirit so a lot of you guys are marked by the holy spirit that's why the apostles go on go get on them the there's one. more into that oh, okay, it goes into on. what you're just saying okay kind of, so kind this of. is uh, uh it says filled with the holy ghost set his eyes on him right. and said oh full of all sub subtlety and all mischief thou child of the devil kind of. thou enemy of all righteousness wilt thou not cease to pervert the right ways right. of the lord just like what you're saying that's right, right? right? Yeah, so that's why you see the apostles. Some of you Israelites that watch the apostles' channel, you get emotional with the apostles getting on this bed, but you don't understand what's happening in the spirit. They're being marked so you can see who's who. And what's what? It's for you to understand you can't trust this guy. You can't trust what he's teaching. Sorry, we've been doing videos on vocab. You notice they've been yeah. doing a lot of videos on vocab? Because yeah. he's a sorcerer, man. That's right. He's a liar. But he has a platform that is drawing actually more individuals into the truth as well. But we still gotta cut that. We gotta contend. Scopeo. Huh? Scope, scope him out. Scopeo. Yeah, scope, yeah, right. Because yeah. that guy's an agent. I don't know if he's had seen that he, he was um, researching out everything with the uh, Ariel's past. Right? Come on, come on, come on. This guy actually got yeah. in touch with yeah, a yeah, family, family member, member and it's yeah. like, what? Yeah, yeah, he's an agent, bro. This guy's an agent. And then a lesson with him on it. The lesson with him on it. The family member came out was speaking on the lesson too. Yeah. I had to watch that. I seen that come to my thing. I'm like, yeah. Apostle uh, uh, Harvey showed up. Yeah. I'm like, what? This guy actually spoke to the family member? Yeah. It's Haman. Like, who the fuck are you? Haman, you call him Haman. What, 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 what he does. A guy. What he does, he, he tries to get as much factual information as possible to come up against. GMS because he said it that GMS is the, the only solid camp out here because others are, are really 
are really phony. Mm -hmm. So he tries to get as much facts as possible to come against CMS. But even when he gets these facts, it's not really 100% true. Yeah. You know, because um, Apostle uh, Aramla tears him down all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He just to the fire. The scripture also says you can't do nothing against the truth. He's right. the truth. So he's right. helping the truth at the end of the day. That, he's hoping that. He can make it. That's what it is. He knows he, he can make it. So he you just gotta ask yourself, who is this guy? <laughs> the apostles keep going back and forth with this guy. Who is this guy in the spirit? You know, it's all. It's yeah, Haman. It's good points. It is. That's all. Oh. It is. The spirit of Haman. Why do they keep doing that? Huh? I don't know. What? Um, uh, oh, somebody get Matthew seven and twenty-one. You ask me that now. Oh, I could get it. Yeah. Okay. Matthew yeah. seven twenty-one. So this is Matthew 7 and verse 21. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. Now it's Matthew 7 and verse 21. It says, I'm not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. But he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. Many shall say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name I've cast out devils. Yes, yeah, so the same. And in thy name I've cast out many devils too. wonderful works. Beautiful. Go ahead. Keep reading the book. Keep well, I know yeah, what you mean. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And it says, and then I will profess unto them, <laughs> I never knew you. Depart from me, he that work iniquity. Imagine uh, someone, you know, you could pick any any uh, uh, poor guy out there that was like, or like four two thousand. Those guys they did the work, mm -hmm. and then uh, two thousand came, and they disappeared. They just put down their posture, right? Yeah, well, after God went back in the world. They were, they were, they were, they were uh, in their mind. They were like, the Lord don't come back this time, you know, they were putting a time date on the Lord. Like even if they were, they were real, real watchmen of the house of Israel, they would have known that the MOTB is not even there yet. So the year 2000 wouldn't really be it because the market of the beast, you know, it wasn't there. Well, you know? the well to a certain degree, like, it wasn't really exposed. Yeah. 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 Finish what you're saying? No, well, well, I was just going to say where you Yeah, because it wasn't that much, like, the internet wasn't fully there. We just had dial-up. And then all this technology, there was the certain movies that was pushing it, right? Uh, early, before the, the 2000, was one of them was Johnny Mnemonic. Um, let me see if there's any other ones. Um, I know Johnny Mnemonic had it. That came out before 99. Uh, and then oh, Matrix movies. just came out then too. Yeah. Uh, there was a lot of, I think, Vir uh, what was it called? Veracity? Virtuosity, with, uh, Den with Denzel. Yeah. But these things, like no one could, um, like no one was into really stopping and fast forward. You didn't have like, DVDs was coming out, but you didn't have like internet. Now you could actually see, uh, like take a, a, a piece or something, and then yeah, 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 and have it on your computer, go back and forth. So like, the men that really believed just by hearing it, those were men that stuck, and then put in the scriptures with it. That wasn't really. Um, at that time, right. Uh, yeah. And, and you, from that point, you had to go back. Cause I remember when, when, excuse me, when the movies come out real quick, I had to go back to 1966 to understand oh, the, that, the world. Um, no. Um, um, fantastic voyage. voyage. Yeah. That's fantastic right. voyage. Yeah. 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 Right. That goes. That movie was all about. Yeah. Going into the syringe. Yep. And then uh, embedding that. <laughs> yeah, it looks, it looks, it looks uh, excuse me, um, real quick, the, the, the Mark, the, 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 so the Michael, the Michael, because I, I, I don't want to say it. M-A-R-K. The M-A-R-K. No, the, no, the, oh, the, the thing no, that comes out of it, no, no, the, the, that, that comes out of the needle. Right, right, it looks right. like a spaceship. Oh, okay. When you, when you magnify it, it's, everything is there, excuse me, in, the, in that movie, everything is there. Everything is there. The scientists, the five scientists, oh, everything is there about now. But that's when, that, 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 when that came out, I think that's when, uh, what was that, uh, 20,000 leagues? 
Now that I'm those yeah, people yeah. who came out and, uh, time. Million, I don't know, million, right? million, million dollar man or and all that shit. Back that was then. the 80s, 20 years, that, 20 something years well, later. Million dollar man or whatever. Six that was million dollar man. With the chip too. Yeah, that's it, that's it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was with the yeah. chip too. But fantastic voyage. That has everything. He was a sideboard. Yeah. It covers everything. Reset? Reset. He's got one. No, let me get this guy. Wow. Micah 3 and 6. Therefore, night shall be unto you, that ye shall not have a vision, and it shall be dark unto you, that ye shall not divide, and the sun shall go down over the prophets, and the day shall be dark over them. Yeah, so they're, they're, they're in there. They're on their high horse because they got so-called answers right now. But when shit really starts hitting the fans, they're not going to have answers. You're going to be looking, messaging Nate, DM, and DM him, or whatever on his Facebook. Not just Booker. And he's there. If he has one. Exactly. You're conjuring him up? Yeah. yeah. Going to try to conjure him up? Yeah, trying to conjure him up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Come back up. So a lot of these people are not going to have your answers for you anymore, man. Your politicians, your government. Everybody's gonna be on their own. Right? <laughs> then shall the seers be ashamed and the diviners confounded. Yea, they shall all cover their lips, for there is no answer of Yahweh. Right. The who is not gonna have answers for you. The WF is not gonna have answers. Good. But truly I am full of power by the spirit of the Lord Yahweh, and of judgment and of might to declare unto Jacob his transgression and to Israel his sin. Right. Here, That's what we're set up to do. Because you have to understand why you're in the situation that we're in. And why the destruction that's coming is coming. That ultimately it's coming because of rebellion. Rebellion has gotten to an all-time high on the earth. To the point where everything, right down to the air you breathe, the food you eat, the things you listen to, it's all witchcraft and sorcery. All of it. It's a sin of witchcraft. Yeah. It's all of it. It's a sin of witchcraft. It's all tied to rebellion. You have to, you have to fucking pray before you go into the shower. Because it's all because it's all a bunch of chemicals. Poop water. Poop water, man. You gotta pray for blessings to get into the shower. What kind of fucking place is this? Everything about this place is tied to rebellion. Which is nothing really wrong with that, right? But it's like, you have to pray over it. Because yeah. it's like... Yeah. You know, you're bathing, you, you can't even clean yourself. You're Something not cleaning that's supposed yourself. to clean can't even clean anymore. Exactly. Yeah. Right? Which when you look at that, that's highly satanic. You know, because Satanists, they stay really dirty to conjure them demons. Right. Them demons are only on them because they're fucking filthy. That's it. And the ones who have the highest demons are the ones that's that are it. covered in blood and feces. Right. So they want you to partake in that. Yeah. That's how wicked this place is. That's it, bro. So you can't even get clean when you go in the shower. There's poop water. Yeah. Micro particles of poop water on you. Yeah, man. You're in You're an involuntary wow. Satanist. Without you even knowing. And you wonder why there's so much fucking demons dancing on your fort on your head top. Yeah, man. Wow. You people don't even know it, man. Tap dancing on your head top, and you're you're wondering why you're bugging out. This place is fucking filthy, man. Uh, go ahead. Hear this, I pray you, the heads of the house of Jacob and princes of the house of Israel that abhor judgment and pervert equity. They build up Zion with blood and Jerusalem with iniquity. The heads thereof judge for reward, and the priests thereof teach for hire, and the prophets thereof divide for money. Yet will they lean upon the Lord Yahweh and say, Is not the Lord among us? <laughs> None evil can come upon us. And that's the spirit of, us, of Esau. Remember, when you read uh, Wisdom of Solomon's second chapter, when you get a chance, read that in the Good News translation. It kind of clears a lot of, like, it's clear either way, but it really goes into how they're saying, you know, the sons of God, these guys, you know, uh, speaking against our ways, they say that they're the sons of God. Let's put it to the test. Let's see if the Lord is really with them. And if the Lord is with them, then he should save them. Guess what? The leaders of Israel are in that same spirit. You know, they they got their 501c street charters. They're living nice. They're getting fame, they're getting popular. And they think the Lord is with them because all these things are happening. And really, it's a demon. 
And you're, you're really just being set up. The Lord is setting you up for destruction. Uh, verse 12, Therefore shall Zion for your sake be plowed as a field, and Jerusalem shall become heaps, and the mountain of the house as the high places of the forest. Right. That's it. And that's not a good. That's not a good one. No. Right? Yeah. When you make an heap, you only that's do that good one, for uh, bales of hay. So imagine piles of, of Israelites out here, fucking dead, fucking just piles of niggas, right. niggas upon niggas. <laughs> right. That's gonna be fucking scary. A uh, uh, um, uh, uh, fucking um, drunk rope, a uh, buzzard, fucking pecking their eyes out. Yeah. And then yeah. you have some fucking wild beast just fucking eating them. Yeah. That's, yeah, that, that's scavenging. The fear of the Lord is going to be reestablished. Get loose and fucking just feasting. Yep. The Lord promised him a feast. Yep. All the fowls yeah. are filled with their flesh. Uh, a um, let's get uh, First Peter 4 and 12. First Peter is four and twelve. First Peter four verse twelve. It says, "Beloved, think, think, think it not strange concerning the the, um, the fire retire, which is to try you, as though some strange thing happened unto you. But rejoice." Inasmuch as ye are partakers of the hour size suffering, that when his glory shall be revealed, he may be glad also to see and joy. Hey, that's why your family member, even your woman, some they think you're crazy. Because you're you're in a you're in a spirit that they really can't understand. You're rejoicing, you're seeing your suffering as and you're rejoicing in them because you know you're partaking in your hour shy. And that's that's the, that's that's that to people on the outside you, you look mad. Like remember what yeah, Job's yeah. wife said to him. Like real, we lost the him. Lord. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, come on. Is that Joseph's son? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 You know we lost our sons, we lost our daughter, we lost everything. Why are you still serving the Lord? Why do you still maintain your integrity? Just curse him and die of him. But Job, he had, he had that spirit. It was on him to speak like the fools when we speak. He understood that we get what? Evil from the Lord and we get good from the Lord. So that's why Peter is saying, think it, you know, count it joy. Because you're being, you're being, your your faith is being established. You're, you're, you're growing your faith. You can't suffer, you can't not suffer and then think your faith is gonna grow. Doesn't make any sense. Yeah, the servant's not greater than the master. That's right. And you know that this thing is a two-edged sword. Yeah. Comfort and discomfort. <laughs> yeah. Right? So if you're comfortable, you'll discomfort you. So you can grow. That's right. Right? That's Come right. start with that uh, spirit of humility that we're, we're begging for in those prayers, man. That's right. Okay? So that, <laughs> you, you know, he makes them acceptable in the Father's sight, so to speak. Simply put. Go ahead. Psalms 119, verse 71. It is good for me that I have been afflicted that I might learn thy statutes. That's right. That's right. That's true. But what are the statutes? The laws. No, that's the instruction of the law. <laughs> Breakdown. Oh, breakdown. Yeah, they're the breakdown of the law. Uh, yeah. Okay. Look, get the word. Hey, get the word, please. Statutes. Uh, I can be 72. Yeah. Can be 72. Verse 72. The law of thy mouth is better unto me than thousands of gold and silver. Isaiah 33 and 6, right? And then the scriptures also say, I'll make a man more precious than fine gold. Right? Because he has this knowledge. 
All right. All right. So this is statute. This is a uh, statute, Latin law, decree, an act, establish status, condition, position. Uh, it says from root to stand, make or be firm. Right, does it work? Give me a little bit of that. Showing the conditions. That's right on line. Right, so oh, Leviticus 19.28, that law there is what? Right? You know how to break that down, Levit Leviticus 19.28? Let's get it out. Let's get it out. Right? Just to, just to, just to show you here. No, no, no. Hold that. There's more on that. Right? So the, the law is that we're not to do what? Right. Oh, yeah. Insert anything. Yeah. Skin. All right, so that's the law. Right. All right, so what's the instruction? Don't do it. Don't do it. Yeah. That's all it is. All right, that's all it is. So oh, that's I simply breaking it down. So it's the same thing. The answer was right, but we'll just go. But it has to be broken down, and that's why we have uh, we have the door and the door. Not do it, which it goes into uh, what was that? Basically, Leviticus 19 and 28. Yeah. All right, that's why we have the door, Yahushar, and it was before we the just door. Mm -hmm. Keep going. I have yeah. that. You have it? Yeah, yeah. Bring no, it. I'm going gonna, gonna to look for it. Yeah. Yeah, bring it on. Okay. Uh, Leviticus 19. Oh, he has it. Oh, okay. Okay, Leviticus 19, verse 28. Ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead, nor print any marks upon you. I am the Lord, Yahweh. All right, so that's the law. We get instruction not to do it. So it's the same thing that you read and what you brought up. It's the instruction. Right. That's why we have the apostles. So um, yeah, you'll have uh, Israelites who don't know what that means. So we have to break it down to them and explain to them. Right? Yeah, like like for example, right? Um, cutting in your flesh would be also getting a tattoo. Would also be you getting a needle. A lot of our people, they're Christians. They've been serving the Lord and reading these laws, but they don't understand what it means. Right. So that's why he's that's why he's, he's going into the word statute. You gotta go into the definition and define it and go word by word. You kinda, you kinda, with our people, you gotta take baby steps. You gotta hold them by the hand and show them what it is. So he's right, right? I know it sounds like it's the same thing. It sounds like we're being redundant, but there is a way on how you follow the rules. You have to actually be shown that, right? And only a priest can really show you that. Anyway, or a prophet, or a prophet. That's why the apostles did work down a lot. Someone who's um, a doctor in the law, right? Who's actually yeah, studying. Right. Because we're, we're showing you, that's how we know. Yeah. One thing is to go and, and back it up. Yeah. Let's see if your uh, your pastor can do that. Exactly. That you've been paying him. Huh? But then we're out here, we're not getting paid for this. What we're doing of uh, uh, um, buy the truth, sell it not. Right? He says in Proverbs, buy the truth, sell it not. That's right. So we're saving the word for you, to give it unto you for free. Happy are ye, for the spirit of glory and of Yahweh resteth upon you. All right. And because therefore, that's how you're being added back. You're being adopted. A lot of Israelites forget that. And they, they forget in moments. Because at the end of the day, you're in the sinful flesh. And this flesh is weak. So you have to remember, uh, we're being adopted. So we're being brought back to the Lord. We read Baruch, for it was our minds astray from the Lord, Baruch 4, being brought back, seeking ten times more. So, so the fight is even harder now that you're in the truth. The fight is even harder. And it's, and it's the hardest because it's with yourself, starting with yourself. We have to fight with this environment, but you also have to fight with yourself. Because yourself, the flesh, is actually in, is, is cohabitant with this environment. It's wicked and this environment is wicked. There's vibrations that that are that are in the earth that feed into the sin in your flesh. You know? So continue, continue. Yeah, because really uh Esau weaponizes uh right. hard weaponizes uh, certain frequencies to make you current. Right. 
perfect example is that MK Ultra. Go on, go on. Right? And they weaponize the uh, thing uh, on the TV and the internet is weaponized. So they use fucking uh, uh, commercials and shit to put certain things right in there. Um, what's it called again? Uh, so hitting predictive programs? Yeah, predictive programs. Or yeah. hailing, um, yeah. whatever they call it. NLP. Yeah. yeah. So what? That, that's yeah. a perfect example. You, yeah. you know, the elders, are, the elders, that's a very deep thing because, um, I'm sorry, I don't want to go off topic, but there's a show called um, The Invincible, or Invincibles. Yeah, I was watching that. You season remember the scene, I think it was season two, yeah. where the government guy Cecil, oh, the skinny come. guy, yeah, 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 yeah. he showed him that room and it was all white, yeah, and yeah, it's like yeah. a frequency that was blot out and nobody could see it unless he had certain so goggles. goggles yeah. That's what they do to you through, right. through, through the witchcraft out here. So like uh, when you watch certain commercials, you get hungry because you see red, you see right. green, right. right? A lot of things are, are blinding us out here from seeing how the world really is, exactly. right? So when you come into this truth, it opens up your mind and then you can see it because now you're given faith, right? And, you're, and it opens up your mind, which is the penal gland, the sixth part of understanding spoken of in Sirach, the 17th chapter. So now you're more awoken to things. Now you feel things. Now you understand something's wrong, something's not right. But in order for you to get to, get to that point, you gotta go through the fiery trials and you gotta be afflicted. Because that fiery trial is actually purifying your soul and your mind. Yeah. In, in terms of getting understanding. Right. Right. Because right. hey, these devils at the top, these devils at the top of the pyramid, they eat, they eat pineal grass, eh? Oh shit. Yeah. Yeah, that, that. yeah, I was watching. Yeah, I was watching. Well, it makes sense because remember those certain um, Hamites, they they eat their enemies. Yeah, man. They yeah. eat the heart of their enemies. Right. General. Bob black hole, right? If you get if you can get to the black hole, you dirty in like right? they all if they can get it they have those, the power. Those, 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 that's, um, those top masons. Ten minutes. Right? That's yeah that's why I'm mentioning it because it's, it's all tied to that. If they can get to the, the, uh, yeah. the black hole they would have gotten to the tree of life. Right? So they're working on all these abominable things. They do all these abominable things. Because they pay tribute to the dark side. That's all that is. I, I got two. I got two. Two, two verses left. Okay. Hey, bring it out. Last three seconds. I just got two verses left off the. Why you asked me earlier? Actually, more than two. But not a lot. It says um. First, yeah. It says first Peter four and fifteen. But but let none of you suffer. Let none of you suffer as a murderer 
or as a thief, or as an evildoer, or as a busybody in others men's suffer and, and matters. Yet if any man suffer as a Christian, let him not be ashamed, but let him glorify Yahweh on this behalf. Which means you're suffering in Yahweh Shai's footsteps. The way Yahweh Shai suffered, you link that to yourself and then you know you're on track. For the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of Yahweh. And if it first begin at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of Yahweh? And if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? Wherefore, let them that suffer according to the will of Yahweh commit the keeping of their souls to him in well doing as unto a faithful creator. God, so with that we're gonna close up the ministry by giving all praise and honor and glory to the Awa, Bahashim, Yahushai, Bahashim, Kakadash. Alright, double honor to the apostles. We also pray those who are really well and the sound of the word of truth and sincerity. And peace and worship and all for a record also the Christian of the Lord. Next, next week we say Shalom, Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.